Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to allow the website visitors when using Salesforce messaging for web and agent force agent to create case record when agents are not available. Let's uh, go into the demo and then we will deep dive into the design and architecture behind this implementation. Okay, my agent force agent is active. I'm going to initiate messaging session. It is asking me how can I help you? I'm going to say, can you escalate to human agent? <clears throat> now escalation topic in the agent force uh, agent will be triggered it is checking the business hours uh, agents are not available it is asking me to provide my first name last name and email address so i'm going to say and uh, so i have given my first name last name and email now it will display a form where I will be able to create a case record with the information whatever I have shared I am going to say demo testing before I click save there are no case records <clears throat> with that subject so I am going to click create case so it created the case it sent a uh, acknowledgement that a case created successfully so I'm going to end the chat. If I come back to Salesforce, this is the case record which got created and uh, my information are available here. In order to achieve this, what I have done is uh, in the escalation uh, topic, I instead of making use of the standard escalation topic because when we use standard escalation topic it will invoke the omni channel flow directly but I don't want to do that I wanted to invoke an agent action before invoking the outbound omni channel flow for that I have specifically instructed the agent force agent and then uh, invoke this particular agent action so this agent action will be invoked um, if you wanted to know more about the apex code behind it you can use this blog link from this you will be you, you will be able to see the apex class that is used as part of that agent action once that action is uh, done or, uh, or the execution is completed I am making use of the context variable is within business hours is false if it is false then uh, it will uh, uh, follow the below instruction if it is true then it will directly invoke the outbound omni channel flow whenever it is false I said in the instruction to collect the first name last name and email so we were able to enter the first name last name and email and then I have given a specific instruction to display the widget so whenever the first name last name and email is entered I have written and instructed the agent force agent to include dollar symbol at the first and as well as at the end and it should send a response with this JSON structure so this JSON structure is sent to the end user but with the help of text message bubble I am overriding that JSON content and replacing it with a lightning web component so this is the lightning web component which is used to create the case record you will be able to get the sample code for your reference in my blog post and in the chat bubble, I am making use of that particular 
um, lightning web, web component. So that particular lightning web component is embedded within the chat bubble. So for each and every message that is sent between agent force agent and the website visitor, it makes use of this messaging chat bubble lightning web component. In the lightning web component, using regex, I am checking whether it is starting with the dollar symbol and ending with the dollar symbol. If it is starting and ending within the dollar symbol, then I am getting the information and then I am passing that value, the JSON information to this particular uh, create case form uh, lightning web component. And in this lightning web component, I am getting the first name, last name and email, whatever they have entered. And then I am displaying the two lightning input boxes, one for case object and the other one is for the case description. And then I have, I'm displaying a lightning uh, button so that it will create the case record. So with the help of text message bubble, I was able to display a lightning web component within this messaging chat bubble lightning web component so that the end users will be able to create a case record. Please check the video description. In the video description, I have given my blog post. From the blog post, you should be able to get the Apex class and as well as the lightning web components for your reference. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching.